we're already consuming a lot of fat. Again, meat, dairy, fried foods, oils, which are ubiquitous edible oils, on and on. So our triglycerides lie, rise even farther. And now the insulin is trying to push that triglyceride into our fat cells, uh, but it gets overwhelmed. So imagine you shook up a snow globe uh, full of, of, of fat, and all of a sudden, all that fat precipitates out into places it's not supposed to be, and namely our muscle and liver cells. And it's the fat in the muscle cells primarily, which is the root cause of insulin resistance. Most, many people think it's sugar is the problem with, with diabetes, type 2 diabetes or prediabetes, but it's the, it, so those are both the, the root causes insulin resistance. The cause of insulin res resistance is not sugar, it's fat deposited in the muscle and liver cells. And so an easy way to kind of visualize what I'm talking about is, is to think about your kitchen sink. So imagine that you, you walked into your kitchen this morning and your, the drain was clogged and you had left the water running and, and the, the, the sink's overflowing onto the, the water's overflowing onto the floor. So how do you fix that problem? Do you get out a mop, mop up the, start to mop up the water? You might need two mops. You might even need a third mop. You finally get all the water up. And guess what? When you come back later today or tomorrow morning, you got to get your mops back out because you really haven't fixed the problem, right? Because the problem is really not the water on the floor. The problem is the drain is clogged and you left the water running. So that's exactly how most doctors treat type 2 diabetes with mops, right? You get out a metformin mop. We might need a Genuvia mop. We add an insulin mop. We mop up all the sugar. We put our mops away, but guess what? We have to get them back out. But we still haven't fixed the problem because the problem, again, is the clogged drain in the water run. So what's clogging the drain? It's fat in the muscle and liver cells. And what's the water? It's the processed sugar, the processed grains, the alcohol, the, 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 the edible oils, which is driving the need for insulin. So that's exactly why a high fiber, low fat, plant strong diet plus exercise where you're emptying the gas tank is such a powerful tool in the prevention, treatment, and even reversal of, of type 2 diabetes.